Father Stan Swamy, the 83-year-old tribal rights activist who was arrested last month over his alleged involvement in the Bhima Koregaon case, will have to wait till at least next Friday for a straw and a sipper cup which he needs as a Parkinson's disease patient and also winter clothes. The National Investigation Agency or the NIA has filed a reply to the petition of Mr. Swamy seeking the return of the straw and sipper confiscated during his arrest telling a special court in Pune that the agency didn't take them. And it's taken all those days for that to be said in court. After the agency's response, the special court rejected Father Stan Swamy's application and the activist has moved a fresh application seeking permission to use a straw and a sipper and winter clothes inside the jail. The court has sought the response of jail authorities and has adjourned the matter till the 4th of December. Saurabh Gupta joins us now for more on this. Saurabh, why could jail authorities not have just given him a, a sipper and a straw? What's the big deal? And that's exactly the question his lawyers are asking, Vishnu, that this is something that shouldn't really need to come to the court, that the jail authorities should have given it to them in the first place. Nevertheless, it's come to court. It's taken 20 days now for the NIA to file a reply. The NIA says they didn't take it, which means that the earlier petition to return it becomes invalid. So now there's a fresh petition asking authorities to allow him to use a straw, a sipper cup, and winter clothes along with it, because now it's also, you know, uh, around the time that winter is setting in, even though in Mumbai it's not that cold, in Taloja jail, uh, you know, it is uh, pretty cold because it's on the other side of the, uh, you know, sort of uh, sea. Yes. Now, on this particular petition, one of the observations that people are making is that, look, the Supreme Court has said high courts should exercise their jurisdiction to uphold personal liberty. And here's a person who needs a simple sipper and a, uh, and a straw, and it's taken 20 days for the legal process to happen. So that's perhaps where courts should be looking at. And in terms of, um, of where he stands as far as, as the bail application itself was concerned, that's been rejected, right? Because uh, of the very serious charges against an 83-year-old man. Well, you know, his arrest itself uh, drew a, a lot of criticism because here is an 83-year-old man. Uh, also, the arguments have been made even in the case of Varavara Rao, but they've all been booked under the Unlawful Activities Prevention exactly. Act, UAPA, which makes bail a lot more difficult than, say, an IPC case. Uh, which is uh, a regular criminal case. And that's where perhaps it is. Now, even if the chart sheet takes more time, these people are going to be in jail. So that's something that lawyers are arguing, saying that these are people who are in their uh, you know, sunset years, and you cannot keep them in jail, because what if they're proven innocent? What happens to all these years? All right. Well, joining us now, uh, thanks very much, Saurav, for being with us with those details. Sanjay Hegde, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court, Deshratha Nigam, uh, senior advocate as well. Thank you both very much for being with us. Uh, Mr. Hegde, why can't a jail authority just give us a, 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 a sipper and a, and a straw? Why does it need to go to the court? There's nothing which prevents the jail authorities from giving it. And in fact, uh, supposing somebody falls ill in jail, the jail authorities do have to take the person to hospital. But jail authorities uh, also... In, in these high-profile cases, feel safer if everything is done uh, with a court order to back them. Uh, this is uh, simply the theater of the absurd which is being carried on. At the end of every legal process, there is a human being. There is not just a piece of paper. The, today is Constitution Day. The Constitution tells us that you, uh, life and liberty cannot be taken uh, without due process of law. And due process of law also has to be reasonable. Uh, all these kind of technicalities that the plea was only for return of the original sipper which Father Stan had, uh, that doesn't cut ice. The, uh, it only required the judge to say, yes, please give him a sipper. I don't care how you do it. Unfortunately, judges also tend to play safe. Right. Especially at the transport stage. Mr. Deshratan Nigam, the NIA had arrested Mr. Uh, uh, Father Stan Swami from Ranchi on the 8th of October and had sought 20 days' time to respond to his request for the straw and sipper. I mean, how bizarre is that? 
you know let me <clears throat> be very clear uh, let me tell you the process what that is followed in law hmm. when a person is arrested uh, every item that is found with him is recorded on a piece of paper which we call panchnama witnesses sign it and the person from whom it is recovered is signed no such allegation has been made or panchnama uh, has been uh, you know alleged by uh, mr stan swami so that therefore they have replied in the negative and obviously uh, since the arrest was as rachi and all the material that must have been recovered from him must have been uh, in 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 the uh, nia's regional office which is there and uh, they may have they may take the time that much time or not it is for the nia to respond now secondly he was arrested on october 8 and he waited for almost a month till october 6 to make this demand and therefore the court was also aware of it that he was there without it for almost a month and then he has made it maybe they did not see that kind of an urgency it is for the court to respond on that now uh, he went to the judicial custody straight away he was not under the nia custody and his application therefore for return was rejected and instead of challenging that order he is he is moved a fresh application mr deshrath the nigam sir you are a very fine lawyer you can you could absolutely win this argument or by by stating the law and what the nia can do or not it's a request from a man suffering from a debilitating central nervous system and system disorder please give me a sipper and give me a cup i'm sure what you're quoting in terms of the law no, no, can I be interpreted absolutely valid Vishnu. but Vishnu, sir where is the humanity in it it doesn't let matter who the person is do we let in me. our country deny people even if they're on death row something basic Let a man suffering it. 83 suffering from parkinsons no let me finish my arguments uh, in fact uh, submissions i would say before the court of law that as we are discussing in uh, before you now nia has nothing to do with uh, such kind of a request it is he the person concerned is under the judicial custody it is between the accused court and the jail authorities now there is a process laid down that if such kind of a request is made the court uh, the jail authorities under the court's direction have to examine him medically and then provide him because we have seen cases where instruments were asked and given where the uh, people committed suicide inside the jail therefore there is a jail manual and the process which has been duly laid down and it is between the court accused and the jail authorities and i has nothing to do with it all right so if if tomorrow the jail authorities feel that he needs it they can have him medically examined through a court order and then can provide him and he himself waited for a month to move this particular okay, application okay sir sir just one second i want to go back to mr hegde so when somebody is arrested put behind bars the first thing which is done is there's a record of his or her medical condition the fact that he has parkinsons is not a new discovery this being the case if he asks for a sipper and a cup should he not get it of course he should get it long ago justice krishna ayer wrote that the fundamental rights do not part company at the prison gate here you have an 83 year old man with parkinsons i have people like that in my family i know how difficult it is for them to even eat the hand shakes the uh, everything in, in seems to be falling apart father swami has written from um, jail how fellow prisoners are feeding him how others are taking care of him and they are come from the poorest of the poor and he says that there is more humanity in jail than almost anywhere else all that i hope and pray is that some humanity seeps forth through the court system and this is what i have been continually saying in my writings that we in the legal system at the end of the day provide a service function to society if we forget that at the end of our legal processes there are actual human beings we lose our humanity we look at causes we look at clauses and uh, uh, dispose them of as just cases then we are not doing what we were designed for that okay. is service to society okay desh ratnakam there was also the case of another senior citizen varavara rao uh who who was carrying who was carrying a urine bag with him the catheter of which hadn't been changed apparently in a very long time this entire process had to go back to a uh, to a court that did finally allow him to be hospitalized 
But again, where is the humanity in this? What sort of threat does an 80-year-old man pose if he is let out on bail at a time when the Supreme Court seems to be speaking about the freedom of liberty? You know, if uh, there are provisions for providing all kinds of medical facilities to the accused who are facing the trial. And that is where Mr. Varavara Rao, through the court order, has been provided that kind of facility inside the hospital. And that Finally, is, uh, sir, after a long uh, time of being denied. Yes, I mean, that's yes. the point and I'm I, trying to raise. I agree with the proposal that there has to be humanity. But humanity inside the jail is, uh, you know, is covered through a jail manual because there are uh, cases where people committed suicide. When, when there were blades were given to them, they committed suicide. So jail authorities also have to be very careful. The humanity certainly exists, as uh, Sanjay Hegde says, inside the jail. But there are laws, process, and the jail manual which they have to follow. Otherwise, say for example, I'm not taking the case of Stan Swami. If somebody is provided a, you know, uh, some kind of a material, and that material is, is is probably poisoned or something happens to that person, then the jail authorities are responsible. So I agree that it should be speeded up. There is no doubt about it. If a person genuine cases, in all genuine cases, it should be speeded up. And courts must also be very careful in providing such kind of medical facilities to such people. But at the same time, you if you are in the shoes of a court, what will you do? You also have to be very circumspect and careful also at the same time. So a fine balance has to be made between the rules, regulations, and humanity so that people like Stan Swami or others do not have to you know, wait for a long time. Okay, Mr. Hegde, uh, 30 seconds, sir. You are nodding your head if you have any last comment on this. If I was a court, I would buy him a sipper myself and give it. All of Mr. R Nigam's objections that, uh, you know, we don't know why, what would happen and what would be smuggled in. For heaven's sake, mere adherence to the law books or to dusty manuals gets you nowhere. We are dealing with human beings. And we should never forget that. That is the essence of our constitution, which provides fraternity for all. All right, we'll leave it over there. I'd like to thank you both uh, very much for being with us.